Welcome back to another MLB recap video where I'm going over the best of Wednesday's action. The number one overall prospect in baseball, Jackson Holiday, was making his debut. And before he got up to the dish for his first at bat, he turned a 4 6 3 double play with Jordan Westberg up the middle. His first at bat, it would be a strikeout swinging, but Colton Kowser would steal second meanwhile. And then his second at bat in the top of the fifth, he's going to roll it over to second base, but his speed won those five tools he possesses. It would split up the double play. Play. And then his third at bat in the top of the six, he's actually going to bring in a meaningful run on an RBI. He does get thrown out at first, but this was a meaningful run because Jordan Westberg hit a grand slam and the Orioles then won that game. So a solid debut for the young Jackson Holiday, who could be a superstar. The Twins, after review, were saving this run at the plate as Carlos Correa threw a 92 mile per hour strike to get Shohei out. So the Twins avoid the sweep against the Dodgers. But some more Dodgers related news is Federal authorities conclude that Shohei Otani was a victim of fraud and was not involved in gambling scheme with former translator Ipe. Ipe is in negotiations to plead guilty in, connect in connection to alleged theft of Otani. And look at this little tidbit in the article. In particular, the authorities think they have evidence that Ipe was able to change the settings on Otani's bank account so Otani would not receive alerts and confirmations about transactions. Three people said in this report. So basically, Ipe was turning off the notifications in Otani's bank account, which he was using money from to pay off the illegal bookie debt. Just a crazy situation. And Ipe was guilty. Otani was the victim. Moving on now to some other games. The Astros are going to lose the first two games of the series to the Royals. They had a new pitcher making his debut as Framber Valdez is on the IL now. Vinny P, he's hitting the homer. The Royals put up 11 runs and get their sixth straight win. The Astros have been a little cold to start the season. On the other hand, Aaron Judge just missed what would potentially be a walk-off grand slam, but he got under the ball. Maybe when he's feeling it, that's a walk-off grand slam, but the Marlins salvage the sweep and they take game or win number two on the season. Dylan Cease has been really, really good ever since putting on that Padres uniform. Something about just being around more consistent winning as opposed to the White Sox the past couple years could play a big part in that. As he dealt against the team that originally drafted him, the Chicago Cubs, as the Padres pick up a series win here. The Guardians fell down 5-0 for the second straight day, but this time they were able to complete a comeback. Josh Naylor tied the game and Bo Naylor hit the walk-off and it was National Siblings Day, so the Naylor brothers were getting the job done to provide a late and crucial series win for the Guardians. Look at Randy go as on this wild pitch right here, not one run scores, but Randy some heads up base running. He is flying around, he is hustling, so the Rays score two there and they would win this game 4-2 and take the series. The Nationals were going for the sweep against the Giants, but the Giants, without even any homers, they just kept the line moving against Patrick Corbin and co. today. They scored seven runs and got a 7-1 to one win. The Dimebacks, they got the series against the Rockies. Maybe things have been a little slower for their offense, but Eugenio Suarez just sticks his bat out, and that's going to be enough to give them the lead today, so that's what ended up going their way for bounces at Coors Field. In Cal Raleigh's career, he has absolutely owned the Blue Jays, and not to, that did not change as the Blue Jays are denied of a sweep. As in the top of the 10th, Cal Raleigh, big dumper, is going to hit a go-ahead two-run shot. He also spoke on some beef that he has with Blue Jays manager John Schneider, so that one's got to feel extra good for Raleigh. The Phillies, they're going to be taking the series. It's a very rainy game in St. Louis. Lance Lynn against Aaron Nola, and the Phillies are going to get a couple clutch hits from Brandon Marsh and Nick Castellanos to take the lead and come out on top. The A's came into this game winners of three straight. The Rangers came into this game losers of three straight. And they are both going to reverse that trend as the Rangers are going to pick up a win. The Bats woke up and they got the job done today. Christian Yelich has numbers eerily close to that 2018 MVP season. If Yelich can get back for form, that's not just good for the Brewers, but it's just so fun to watch for all of baseball. Let me know your thoughts on the MLB slate today. Jackson Holiday's debut, the new Ipe and Shohei findings. Subscribe if you like this video.